Hello everyone, I'm Airships, and I'm back in Space Simulation Toolkit. Today, we're going to be blowing some stuff up. So I made this little city, and we're going to blow it up. So I'm going to make this little metal shell right here. I'm going to just empty the inside. Now I'm going to just pause the simulation. And I'm going to fill this with a ton of air. Well, at least as much as I can really fit in there. Okay, now that's just a bit laggy. We're going to unpause. Well, I can actually clear that out. There we go. So, let's see. Boom! And look at it. Just eating everything alive. That's so cool. Just a large wave of melted material. And look at that cloud. Very cool, very cool indeed. Let's just see there is a point when it goes it's not really fusion we'll just call it that where it goes critical and then it's just a chain reaction of particles bumping into themselves causing them to heat up I just don't know is there a way to stabilize that But, look at that, just an explosion of gas. It seems the mains have bursted. Look at that, look at that, the stone, it's leaving a trail behind it as it collides into these particles. That's so cool, it's like a meteor, it's crashing into the building. It's so cool. See right there, it needs enough pressure to get it started, and then, then just kablamo, everything's gone. But I just don't know how to do it. It's so cool though. Not really. Quite frankly, this is very hot. So you can see just a planet with a molten core, some cities right on top, and some oceans. It's got some poles. It's very cold down there. I want to see, not vapor, I want to use air. Okay, that, that's not containing fusion. Oh yes, that's how stars work. I'm such an idiot. Alright guys. I've got the perfect idea. So let's put some gravity right here. Let's just add some air. There we go. Right, so we have our almost star, but I'm going to slowly make the gravity stronger. Stars need a lot of material to grow. So I believe it's a setting in the cosmos, if you will, with me. Max velocity, we increase that a ton. And I believe that's just it. Oh, it's really going for it now. Well, let's just, let's delete some of this material. It's so unbelievably glitching out OBS. Alright. What happens if something like metal gets introduced to it? Oh, that's what we needed. So metal acted like a catalyst. What happens if I decrease the gravity? Right. 
add a bit of water, and there is no more water. Oh, look at that. That's just so cool. I now have my very own star to play around with. So I wonder what I can do with this star. Let's say I have a planet. I'll need to pause the cosmos. And it's covered in just a bit of dirt, right? And now we unpause and it's just getting sucked in, squeezed by the gravity and it's been obliterated. That's cool. All right, what if we have this hunk of plant? It's just getting stretched, spaghettified, and it's gone. Look at that, and all turned into fire. What about oil? What does oil do? Oh, it's spewing out something. Fire. So you're saying I can feed this oil, and it's just going to spit out fire. Very cool. What happens if something like plant were just right here? It's getting atomized. And there it goes. So essentially, we just have this radioactive ball of extremely hot goop, and it's obliterating nearly anything that gets near it. Uh, it just eats. Just eats whatever. I'm gonna delete some. Let's say we've got a big ball of metal. And it's just getting squished like an egg. It's getting turned into an egg. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so laggy. <laughs> Please do not crash my game. <laughs> oh my. This is probably the angriest circle I've seen in my life. Oh, and OBS and my graphics card. It's not just laggy for you, it's incredibly laggy for me. Oh my goodness. So I believe we have achieved fusion, essentially, in Space Simulation Toolkit. I hope you all enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.